Hello everybody, it's Arnie, and this is Season 7 of Alliance Wars. And you see Blade on my team, and you're probably like, what? 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 Arnie? Using Blade on his team? And I brought Blade for one specific reason. This war, I'm running path number 4, and I have Korg on Diva Immune, annoying mini boss, and this fight is going to be... Wow, you, you will see, you will see. And I have a Mystic Champion on All or Nothing. And I had a feeling that he's going to be Mephesto or Mordo. So if it's going to be Mordo, I will use Dr. Boot. If it's going to be Mephesto, unfortunately or not. Play this, this is the only counter that really works on this node with Mephesto. So I don't have Stark, so I need to bring Blade. We're starting with fight number one. And this is a diversity node. She's pretty easy. If she will cut you even with one hit, she will do a lot of damage. So I can understand why someone will put her, her here. I also fighting with 10% and oh man this last update so much lags and one of our alliance opponents did a very funny joke he said I think made the lag be with you something like this it was very very funny because oh, so many lags uh, during this war also had one guy who lost the connection issues and it, it's sad it's sad that each update just getting worse and worse and we're starting the path number 4 now, and first note again, I think it's just diversity note. I don't know if there is any cosmic champion that Dr. Voodoo cannot handle, you need to be careful, it's just strike back note, but it's a very easy champion here, and my strategy, because I can't poison him, I will power drain him just for more damage with power and burn, and it's time to run! Come on, release the thing! And the thing is nullify immune, and unfortunately, SP2 of Dr. Voodoo is a nullify of loss and converting to power burn, so this means Voodoo is al almost worthless against the thing. He, could, he can put an odd combo on him and to reduce chances for rocks and maybe power drain with SP2, uh, with SP2 and SP3, but man. The Kabam did a super annoying move. I don't know why things should be annoying to nullify effects. It just Kabam BS, the arrow of unstoppable. Every champion have unstoppable out your face. I don't like where the game is going, but let's see, let's see what will happen. So next one, I'm pretty sure it's not going to be a wasp, but I'm bringing Corvus just to finish this fight quicker. And this is the power of the million suns and I'm pretty confident this war I'm, I'm very pumped for this war and I'm using Corvus here I'm intercepting him it's just so easy doing some hits I have no problem to evade his sp1 but I rather bait his sp2 it's even easier here so I have six charges and he had only 50% and now 21% let's do some damage so Two more charges, one last hit, and now let's just do a usual 5 hit combo because no charges, Corvus is not so strong. So we're moving on to next fight, and as I suspected, I see three charges, and three charges means Mephesto, and this is the only reason I brought Blade for this war, at least I thought I was. And this is the first time ever from Blade since he released, I'm using him in war because I don't have any other Mephesto counter. I have Iceman, but he will be without his Ice Armor and Mephesto will reach SP3 faster than Iceman, so it also won't work. And with Blade, I have so pretty simple strategy here. You will see. I will try just to parry him and bleed him to death. And I will try to reach my SP2 and trigger it basically only SP2. So this fight, I call it a parry fight. It's also a practice with parry. As you can see here, I'm waiting almost till the end. And then I'm dashing back just to gain more bleeds. Now I'm almost at the corner, so I need to hit, do some few hits on him. And now SP2. And Mephesto lose health. And I'm already at SP1, so let's continue with the strategy. Mephesto only have one bar of power here, so it's worthless. And Blade will disable his regeneration, and Mephesto is down. So, very very simple fight with Blade, and this is the reason I brought him here. And we are moving on to next fight. It's a Korg, and the reason I took this path, because if you're following my channel, 
You saw I hit core with Voodoo on every node. I fought him in a boss node on node 24, on path number 5 masochism node, on bay node, everywhere. And I had no issues with him. I removed dexterity and do the fight without dexterity. But here, you will see something. I also have regeneration at start, so I can take the torn's damage and regeneration will, will help me. And some strange things is going to happen this fight and it will, it will shock me, you will see in a moment. So the fight started very very good, I'm pushing him over 2 bars of power, now it's time to bait his sp2, trying to keep a distance from him. I'm blocking this sp2 and I'm trying to attack. So all I need to do now to do an even combo to start on this guy. So this is the tragedy, burn him. And now I'm trying to do the light intercept, and here he caught me. I'm like, wait, I was so wait, what happened here? And this was strange for a second. And now the dismay node just starting to drain my health. So this time it worked. And I'm like, wait, let's let's start again. Okay, now it's working. But during the fight, and I won't beat him, guys, uh, because of this dismay and another thing that will happen. Uh, I started to notice something that his animation changed after Radbiz. Something from his behavior because I fought Cork so many times and my uh, muscle memory just gets so used to him. I just feel the change. I just feel something change with his behavior. And I'm trying during this fight trying to understand what am I missing? And again here he caught me, and this is also 10% chance to stun, of course, you know, in Alliance for 10% mean 100%, and I died. So I used a lot of potions, I used another 10% boost, I was in 20% boost, I like boost uh, for this fight, and I waited, I took a small break, I dueled Korg, also I dueled, I noticed something different on his behavior, and these changes came f after the update, and maybe I'm hallucinating, maybe I'm just playing bad, but I used to cork, and again here, and just pay attention what is going to happen. 10%, right? It's 10%. This 10% was more like 100%, almost every hit stun, so... He caught me again, at this point I'm like, wow, uh, I need to think about it. I need to change my strategy, I need to do something differently here. And... I really don't know how to respond to it and this is really really just push me off. I never expected to have s such an issues with Korg because again I so used to it, my muscle memory just remember every move so I changed the strategy and I said screw Thorns let's just try and be aggressive here and again I tried to do the usual light intercept and now I will die to this node and it did not work, I dashed back and immediately throw a light attack and he still managed to hit me. So it's 20% decided to bring blade and I was very pissed off and important rule in Alliance Wars guys, even if you lose the, just take a break, I took a break from previous fight, a second and break between this one and the previous one was zero time and you will see a mistake that I will do. And let's see if I will still will be able to beat him. So I have no dexterity and I trigger my sp2 while he had his uh, rock shield. And just pay attention how much health I lost. So he had 3% and the health. And this is 1% of death. This is so annoying. And now I'm bleeding to death. So I trigger my sp1 and I manage to kill him. So this fight uh, made me sad. I think I'm the only one who died twice. My battle group did amazing job on this war. Uh, I don't know, maybe I'm hallucinating, probably playing bad, but if you just notice the changes after this update, just let me know. And we're moving on, and this is, I'm again without dexterity, and here I'm aware of it. So the reason I kept uh, dexterity off, because I don't want my power to be drained with the, I don't remember the node, but it's big or another node thing that if you trigger a buff, your power is just drained. So I'm playing defensively because I want to reach SP2 very very fast before the power drain and I managed to reach the first SP2. I also used 150% power boost here and I'm blocking specials. I don't mind block them as you can see here 
and now I lost my charges and at this point I paying attention to his health and he regenerates a lot and also, also this node is huge regeneration node so I'm basically uh, just I know I won't do anything here and I need my charges back but I also need to be super aggressive on this node I need him to lose health because with one sp2 and with charges I managed to took a little bit more than 50% so this means I must keep him below 50% and this is the reason I'm playing so aggressively here and taking all the block damage I can't evade and just pay attention <laughs> he's just reaching his sp3 and 47%, 46%, I'm checking that I'm recording just to be safe and he had 39% but I know I won't time out, I, I just planned everything after cork fight I took a small break, I still had my uh, my 20% and 10% boost so but this cork fight it's a very rough start for this alliance war season for me and I have a new idea for this cork for the changes that I feel came to him and of course Kaban will never prove it and never say that there are changes so now I got my, my charges and it's time to trigger sp3 just just in time and it did very very nice amount of damage so I'm at 19 charges and Corvus with charges come on I love him with charges so it's also great to get one mutant charge and now just one more special I think I should have triggered sp2 and just prevent the special and he's down so it was a little bit long fight and now it's the last fight on this alliance war I know it's going to be quake but I'm still bringing Corvus here I still healing him because every every health, portion of health is important unfortunately we lost this war uh, our opponents did an amazing job really they I think they previous season they was in bronze too and I think they regrouped probably recruited new players and they played very very well kudos to these guys uh, for me it wasn't my best war the Korg fight was I think my worst fight ever and I will learn from this fight I will do him more until I understand what changed on his behavior and on this node, this is pretty easy one. If you like this war video, click here to subscribe, like, share and see you soon on my next video.